Good afternoon and welcome back into Midday in Kansas. We're wrapping up the show today with Charlene Patton in the Kansas Soybean Commission. If you missed it this morning, you got to go online and check out our two recipes for peachy plum pie and blueberry apple galette. Uh, those were the featured recipes that Charlene made this morning, looking absolutely amazing. And Charlene, we're not going to let folks down with the finale of our pie recipes today, right? Oh, we are. This is a wonderful recipe and it uses fruits again. Another variation of a pie, it's called a summer fresh fruit tart. And we're going to start out by making the crust. The crust is one and three fourths cup of graham crackers. I'm going to add one half cup of granulated sugar, a half a cup of margarine, which is melted and another soy product. And then we're going to add a half a cup of chopped honey roasted soy nuts. Gives it some little extra crunch there and we're stir to blend that. And we're gonna pour those crumbs then into a 10 inch tart pan. With that tart pan, it has a removable bottom. So then when we get done, it's gonna make a beautiful dessert that we have. So we wanna use that spoon and make sure that we press that crumb mixture on the sides firmly and on the bottom. And then we're gonna bake that at 350 degrees for about uh, 15 minutes. Let it cool then. We want to have it nice and cool before we add the filling. That first layer for this is a, a package of soy cream cheese. So that's eight ounces. And then we have a special ingredient for this recipe. I've melted two ounces of white chocolate baking bar. Pour that in with powdered sugar and vanilla, and we're gonna mix that until it's blended and creamy. We're gonna spread that filling then into our cool tart crust and then arrange the fruits over the top. Now I'm using peaches, strawberries, raspberries, and blackberries. And then the final step for it is that we're going to put one third cup of orange marmalade and one tablespoon of fresh lemon juice. You can put it in a saucepan to melt it, or you can put it in the microwave for just a little bit and brush that on the top of the fruit. That's gonna give it a wonderful sheen and then put it in the refrigerator. And then you can see right before we serve it, I've grated some white chocolate and put that across the top of it. That really gives it another elegant addition there at the end. They can find the recipe online and get it uh, through your soy guide, right? They can. It's kansassoybeans.org. You'll see all the recipes. And then also you can call 877-KS-SOYBEAN. And we're also going to send out this month the Soy Connection. It has all kinds of interesting information, updates on why you should include soy in your diet. And we're not getting older, are we, Chris? But it's all about longevity for this month for seniors. Absolutely. All right, Charlene Patton of the Kansas Soybean Commission. Charlene, as always, great to see you via Skype, and we'll talk to you next month. Thank you. All right, thanks for watching Midday in Kansas. We hope to talk to you tomorrow morning starting at 5. Have a great rest of your day.